I'm Ricardo Imperatori. I'm a Carioca because I was born in Rio. This is my hometown. I'm gonna take you to my secret spot. We are at Joachinga Beach, which is located in Rio. It's not the center, but it is in Rio. It's 20 minute bus ride from Ipanema. I often come here to surf, but today I'm just gonna have a beautiful swim. This is paradise, man. about this our lifestyle is relaxed by nature by nation you know what I mean beaches are all around Rio I love the city now I'm refreshed and we can go to another part of the town all right come with me I'm ready for the evening, and I'm gonna take you to a very exciting place. That's Gentil Carioca Art Gallery, which is located between Sara and Tiradentes in downtown Rio. It's contemporary art. Hi, Marcio. Hello, Ricardo. How are you doing? Good, good to see yeah. you. This is Marcio Potner, one of the owners. Tell me about it. Uh, Gentil Carioca opened the space almost six years ago. Mm -hmm. And during this time, Ernesto Neto, Laura Nima, and I were having a lot of fun. Good if you can imagine, we have around 10 exhibitions a year. And really, the focus is to bring the young artists and to connect them, the young Brazilian artists, to the art world. So uh, I think it's very strong, this part of the, the exhibition. Uh, Bernardo, he links the, the objects, the, the, the sculptures, the paintings, and he did all of this with very simple materials that he used to found on the street. I can see. And he can bring them and bring to the art gallery and transform them in art. And all, as you can see, the words around, like light and love, makes me feeling like a... Star? Beautiful. <laughs> so I'm going to show you now an important part of the gallery, which links contemporary art with people on the streets. As you can see, I'm here in this beautiful home, which is part of the wall project. So this has been Gentil Carioca Art Gallery. The place I'm gonna take you now, it's cool. It's called Cabaret de Roses, which is nearby the art gallery. I'm gonna go walk there. And we're close to Lapa too. Lapa has many, many nightclubs that you can choose for your evening. So we are at Cabaret de Roses a new nightclub that was opened two months ago, right? It's a place to have fun. Drinks, food, performers, awesome. Shall we? <laughs> now, I'm going to introduce you 
to the performance of the night behind the scenes. Come with me. It's a pleasure to have you guys here with us tonight. We have a lot of artists that works in Rio and works outside of Rio. Thanks for coming to our big backstage, as you can see. And we hope you enjoy the show. in Rio, the most eclectic city in the world. Whatever you want, you get it. I love vintage. <laughs> I'm starving, I can't wait anymore. I used to bring my girlfriends for the first dates here. de Freitas, welcome to Rio de Janeiro. Rio is the second biggest city in Brazil. It's known by the wonderful nature, we have a tropical climate, and it's summer most of the time. I want to take you to my favorite personal places. I'll take you by train from here to Santa Teresa. We are in Santa Teresa. It's a nice neighborhood up in the hill. I'm taking you to a clothes shop, a second-hand clothes shop, named it El Uomo Vintage. And it's here in this small village close to downtown. There's amazing view with restaurants, there's cinema, and it's a great place to visit. to find this place if you don't know, but now you do. Eu Amo is a shop clothes where I found my exclusive pieces and now I'm gonna add some more to my collection, excuse me. Wow, I love this color and I love vintage. Saturday is a nice day to come because the girls give a party with appetizer, live music and some caipirinhas. taking you to Yoruba, one of my favorite restaurants in Rio. It's in Botafogo. Botafogo is in between uh, Jardim Botânico and Flamengo. It's living in South Rio, going downtown. It's quite commercial, but this specific area is more residential. <laughs> 